Hey folks, welcome to Master That Riff. We're going to be looking at Big Log today by Robert Plant. This is a great example of one of those kind of 80s kind of strat tones to me. Um, obviously, you don't have to have a Stratocaster to play it, but what you're aiming for here is a very kind of crisp, kind of clean sound. So what I've got on the Strat here is I'm in uh, position two here, so I've got the middle and the bridge pickup on, so it's kind of one of the, of, uh, one of the in between positions, basically. So it gives you a particular kind of sound. And I've also got a little bit of chorus, um, a bit of reverb and some compression on this as well. So when I play it, you've got this kind of nice, very 80s kind of vibe, very clean kind of sounding guitar. So the riff um, is based around the kind of A minor and has this little hook. Okay. So what you're doing here is we're going to be playing first fret of the E string. Now, uh, Robert Blunt plays all this with his fingers. I was checking out some old footage. If you see recent footage of it, he's kind of playing it with a pick, but some Top of the Pops footage and some early footage, he's kind of using his fingers to play this, which helps with what we're going to play here. So we're going to start with the uh, first fret of this E string. And then what I'm going to do is slide three to five in that E string. And I'm going to play three on the A string. Next note is actually an open D string. Now you might think to yourself, well, why don't I play it there? But this gets you out of position to get into the next chord. So what you want to be doing here is give it that open D string so you can move into this A minor 7 shape. So what I'm playing here is open A string, second fret of that uh, D string with the middle finger, open G string, and my first finger is in the first fret of the B string. This is an A minor 7 chord. What we do in the very first phrase though, Open A string and then we, we play just the open G and the B string with the first finger on it and we cut it off so it's a little staccato kind of feel. Okay, or play the right strings. Next time we let those ring out. Okay, and then we have this little phrase, and this is why it makes sense to use this open D string and with our finger style got a little kind of 16th note run there. So what you're playing here is the same riff as one, three to five slide. First finger plays three in that A string. Then I've got the open D string. So you have this kind of three notes in succession here. So what I do is I tend to use my thumb, index and middle finger for that. You could also strum away down it with uh, the thumb if you wanted. Once you do that, you just kind of strum that A minor 7 up to the B string. Okay, so that's our kind of first uh, kind of four bars. So if I play that, it sounds like this. Okay, now what we're doing is we're going into this main little melody, and it starts off like this. Really, really cool. Um, I'm playing two in the D string here with the first finger. And what I'm going to do is bar and play two in the G string as well. Then I play four, five on that uh, G string. Okay, so it's like that. Two, two, four. And you do four, five at the end, which gives it this kind of, um, I don't know, this kind of almost Spanish kind of vibe to it. It's got this really kind of cool vibe to it. Okay, that's your first bit. Then you have 
So what you're doing here, the fingering wise, you might have to change it up a little bit here, but what I'm going to be playing, then slide into the seventh fret, and I use the third finger to do that. Then you do five, seven, and then pick the seven and quickly slide to nine. So it's, if I do it slowly. Okay, so I put those two bits together. Finger change. Yeah. Next little phrase goes like this. So what I'm doing, going to be doing here is a bend up and down, 7th fret of that G string. Again, I use my 3rd finger. So you do bend up and down. Play 7, then 5, 4. And then you play 7 on the D string with the 4th finger, back up to 4 on that G string. And then you have a little kind of Span Spanish flourish thing. Yeah. So I'm playing 5 on the G with the 2nd finger. Then I'm going to do a little hammer and pull off. Then 7 in the D, and then back up to 4 in that G again. One of those classic little uh, kind of flourishes, Spanish flourish. Okay. Next little bit is really cool, goes like this. Okay. So what I'm doing here, this is one of the tricky things about this riff, I guess, is the, the control and the notes, particularly because you're playing clean. You know, so it's, there's no place to hide, if you will. Um, and making sure you get the intonation in the bends here. So what you're playing here is a sixth fret bend, half step. So you're aiming for that, that D note there. And what you're doing is you're kind of bending up. Then you're going to play it three times. And you kind of release the bend as you come down. So it's like bend, one, two, three. Release it a little bit and then play five with the second finger there. And then what you're going to do is play four, but you slide that four back to the two. Okay. And once you've done that bit, we have this another little flourish. So I play four, then I'm going to do a hammer and pull off two to four back to two. And then play open G, and then second in the G. So it goes. Okay. So if I put that whole bit together, this is all a little single note melody, sounds like this. Okay. Next little bit sounds like this. Okay, so I'm playing these little descending thirds. So what I'm playing here is I'm going to play five on the G, five in the B. Then I play four in the G, then three in the B. Yeah, then I play two on the G. And then what I'm going to play is arpeggio up like a, is this an open F major seven chord? So what I'm playing here is three in the D string, second fret of that A string, and the second finger. And then my first finger plays the first fret of the B string. And I put the open E string on the top. Yeah, lovely little F major 7 chord. So I have this. Then what I'm going to do is I use my thumb. And then when I get to the top notes, I'm going to use my index finger to do an upstroke. And then I do it again. And what I do is I kind of drag the finger a little bit so I'm, I'm kind of getting more of a harp like vibe. And if you want, you can do that nearer the bridge as well. So it has that kind of cool quality to it. So slowly that like goes. Yeah. Next little phrase goes. Yeah. So we're doing a little descend again now on the D and G string. So I'm going to play seven in the D, five in the G. So it's a little kind of A minor, uh, third tier. Then I go down to five on the D, four in the G. Then I play, as you probably guessed it, three in the D, and then two in that G. So you're coming down like a minor third, major third, major third. And this is kind of like the top of an E minor chord here. So I'm playing, I just use my first finger just to play second fret the D, and I'm going to strum. Yeah. 
nice slow strum all up the top uh, four strings. Okay, so that goes. Then you have this cool little bluesy thing. Okay, so I'm gonna do a slide two to four. I use my first finger to do this here. Uh, then I play the uh, open high E string. Then I go back and do a little pull off, two to zero in the G. And then two in that D string. Second fret that, that D string, sorry. So it goes. Next little bit sounds like this. Okay, so it's similar to the F major seven bit, it's just we're playing a D minor chord at the end of it here. So basically, our little descending uh, third shapes are going to be seven in the A, five in the D. Yeah. Then I move that down two frets, so it's five in the A, and then three in the D, and then I play third fret of that A string to play that. Uh, basically into the D chord, so it goes. So I play up a D minor chord here. What I'm holding shape-wise is my middle fingers in the second fret of the G string, my third fingers in the third fret of the B, my first fingers in the first fret of that E string. Or D minor chord. But I play up. So the same thing again, where I can use the thumb to play the D, G, and B strings. Then I'm going to do this kind of upstroke on the, the chord, and then I pegate it again. Just like I did with F major seven, just to add a little bit more kind of texture to it, you know. Yeah. Then we end it off with this. Okay, so I'm getting back to the A minor seven chord here. So what I'm going to be doing is the same third interval shapes descending. So it's seven five, five three, then three, but then I'm going to play my A minor seven chord. And I just kind of strum the A, D, the G strings there before we get back into. So we're playing the little hook again. So it's just like um, the second phrase in the intro. You're doing a little uh, first fret of that E string, slide three to five, third fret A, open D string. Um, open A string, and then I hold this A minor 7 chord and I pluck the G and the B strings and let them ring. And then the last time we go, we kind of strum the chord. So instead of an open A string, we just strum an A minor 7 chord. Okay, and that's it. So thanks for watching. Hopefully that's shed some light ahead to play a riff. It's a great riff, iconic kind of strat sound. Uh, it's a great riff for working on uh, kind of finger style technique if you're not used to using your fingers and always playing with a pick. It's good to help this idea of taking chords and kind of strumming back the way or up strings, depends on what you think about it, near the bridge to give that kind of harp like effect. It's really kind of cool. Very 80s, I guess. So have fun with it. Um, as usual, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe for more uh, riff videos, lick videos, gear videos. All my other stuff, and be sure to check uh, Master the Guitar on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all those places. So, until next time, have fun.